Welcome back, YouTubers. Sunny Stiver here. Welcome to the Sunny Stiver Biohack and Reset Show. Okay, so since you guys only have an attention span of about 10 minutes, according to my statistics on uh, YouTube, we're going to go over, I want to talk about uh, neuroplasticity and brain core training. Bio-neurofeedback or neuro-biofeedback. Let's jump into it. Neuroplasticity, also known as neural plasticity or brain plasticity, is the ability of neural networks in the brain to change through growth and reorganization. These changes range from individual neurons to making whole, I mean, whole new systematic adjustments like what they call cortical mapping which is especially important in learning new, new information and following injury like TBI, car accident, football players, abuse as a kid, that kind of thing. The brain is made up of the mind and the spinal cord, which constitutes the entire nervous system. The autonomic nervous system is everything automatic, your breathing, your heartbeat, your circadian rhythm, what your body goes through overnight when you sleep. I've talked about that before. Um, your parasympathetic system is your rest and digest. It's when you're in a state of rest and you're digesting food. Your sympathetic nervous system is your fight or flight. Right? And if you're watching this video, if you're one of my grandchildren, you need to know about this. If you're my daughter, one of my, you know, my daughter or my, one of my, yeah, please know this information. Your brain takes in non-negotiable sensations from the outside world by receptors, your ears, your nose, your touch. And perception is negotiable, <laughs> right? So how you receive that outside data and then your perception so the outside data is not negotiable that and your perception is negotiable how you're perceiving or reading a situation feelings which is a bodily sensation and emotions are concepts to merge and integrate with perception thoughts can be spontaneous out of nowhere or they can be deliberate meaning um, like when you hear people talk about being mindful, when you intentionally start acting in a mindful manner, where you bring your attention into an activity, I'm going to go and shoot this YouTube video. I'm going to go and set up that's mindfulness when you're consciously aware of what you're actually doing. The objective of the nervous system is to incorporate and merge perceptions of the outside world with your in, what they call interception, meaning your inside world and deem it appropriate or inappropriate. And the brain will attempt to bring it into cohesiveness. An example of that would be you're in a peaceful setting, you're out in the forest, you're on a picnic with your family but your insides and your heart is racing and, and you're all full of anxiety and your brain is going to attempt to bring your inside and your outside into cohesiveness and that struggle of what is wrong, right? I mean, who can identify with that? Neurobiofeedback just makes things comfy and proficient. 40 years of Zen was seven days or in five, five days with Dave Asprey in Chicago, $15,000. <laughs> he has these pods all, and in the show notes, I will have all the references to the websites that I'm referring to the people I'm referring to. Yeah. $15,000. That's $3,000 a day. And he has these pods and it, they use the whole cap. Um, BioCyberNot in Sedona, um, but it's called Bio BioCyberNot Institute. Their price ranges for five to seven days is twenty to eighty thousand dollars 
with Dr. Hart, who is actually the godfather of this technology and introducing this into our orbit as a hack, as, yeah. So let's talk about brain waves. Your beta brain waves are produced when you're alert and focused, like right now, I'm alert and focused. Your alpha waves are produced when your eyes are closed and you're relaxed. Theta is what happens really briefly right before you go to sleep. And then delta is what occurs when you are in sleep. Scientific research has demonstrated that for any given circumstances, there is an acceptable norm pattern of brainwave activity. A healthy, balanced, and properly regulated nervous system will produce the appropriate brain waves at the appropriate levels at the appropriate times for any given situation. However, when the nervous system becomes tense and unbalanced as a result of subluxation, poor nutrition, stress, food sensitivities, <laughs> drugs, trauma, the brain wave, brain wave patterns become dysregulated, resulting in many neurological symptoms and conditions. Some of the symptoms, some of the, the conditions that neurobiofeedback has successfully on record treated, ADD, ADHD, insomnia, panic attacks, memory loss, autism, Asperger syndrome, post-stroke, PTSD, headaches, migraines, fibromyalgia, traumatic brain injuries, anxiety disorders, learning disorders, and a host of other neurological based conditions. It's extremely powerful stuff. For example, and this is the, the brain waves. For example, when the brain produces high magnitudes of delta or theta, the person will likely experience attention or focus issues such as those associated with ADD and cognitive decline learning disorders, or symptoms related to concussion. If the brain produces higher than normal magnitudes of alpha, the person will likely experience symptoms associated with fibromyalgia, pain, irritability, depression. If the brain produces higher normals of beta, that person will have anxiety, panic attacks, migraines, tension, headaches, chronic pain, or insomnia. And these are just a few examples of how brain dysregulation just can just totally jack up our whole world. Quantitative electroencephalogram and EEG evaluation. So they take a tight cap, it's got 12 leads, and it will record your personal baseline of where you're at right now and compare it to a very large, sophisticated data bank of scans, of brainwave scans. I will hook a link below to 40 Years of Zen in Seven Days, which is a short documentary on, on, on this. My first mapping, uh, first of all, I felt like I was going to throw up. <laughs> I was nauseated for two days. No, 24 hours. When I got done... I literally felt like I, I had a headache. I thought my brain had gotten scrambled. It was really intense. Um, my first mapping, the high melt amplitude alpha combined with little, I'll skip that part for you. But here's what it picked up for me specifically. Um, high magnitude posterior alpha perseverance. That's good news, right? Elevated beta is associated with negative rumination. I've talked about that before. Low posterior theta is associated with diminished short-term and sequential memory efficiency. Yeah, I've talked about that before. Posterior delta is associated with poor short-term and, oh, I just, I'm sorry. I printed that twice. Low posterior uh, beta coherence is associated with sensory integration difficulty. Meaning that outside stimuli that I'm receiving, I'm not integrating it with my inside. I also have like issues driving on the freeway. 
next to a semi. That was way worse before the first time around. Um, low temporal, which is your, you know, your front temporal lobes, theta magnitude is associated with poor empathy. So what that translates in my world is I can get really annoyed at people really quickly when they're not catching information. And so it's not really a, like I'm a horrible person. You have no empathy at all because of my years in recovery. I was able to tackle a lot of that. And then high temporal magnitude is associated with hyperglycemia. <laughs> Go figure. Fixed it. I did the first protocol I did. I had, I did 72 sessions in three weeks. I did a baseline mapping following that protocol and I had a 45% increase in brain activity in brain functionality and regulation. That's pretty impressive, right? And then I did 84. Okay. So on the second brain mapping I had, it picked up some new stuff or uncovered some new stuff, some, some different, and, and we're working on a different area of my brain right now. What I'm doing with brain core training, that's the redneck budget version. <laughs> it's two leads as opposed to a whole cap with 12. <laughs> and my apologies. Yeah, we're, we're on it on the cigarette thing. I just smoked my last one. This one is $250 a week for me. I will link a, sh a, a, a link to braincoretraining.com. You can find a practitioner in your area or just look up bio neurofeedback in your area. It may not be as cost effective as brain core, but you, know, you never know. <coughs> Elevated frontal uh, picked up extreme feel fearfulness and panic. I had gone through some, tra I wasn't experiencing that, but it picked up. And so I was like, my soul was having to fight with my brain to stay in control because of the brainwave dysregulation. Anger and aggression, confusion, <laughs> and emotional flooding. So this girl is going down. I wanted to get this video out. I've had some requests on the subject matter. <coughs> it's so funny because when I get into anxiety, my cough comes back horrible we are down okay i'm gonna try to take you off of here and show you what the machine looks like i have no idea let's see if i can see there it is it looks like a computer and these are the leads that um i will be putting on my head well this part goes on my ear and then this gets attached to my head and I will be sitting there for the next week. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try to pull off um, 10 sessions a day, which is five and a half hours over the next seven days. And a typical protocol, like if you were in, um, and my apologies for moving you all around, a typical protocol, like if you were to go into an office, depending on how many leads their particular unit works with, can be like once a week for 30 minutes or twice a week for 30 minutes for the course of, you know, eight, 12 weeks. I'm putting myself through 70 sessions in one week. So, and the nice thing about it is you, and I'll, I'll have some links down below. It, this it's permanent, right? And the whole smoking thing that I reverted right back to, I've worked for 10 years for nine years for Home Depot. Seven and a half of those years, it was full on all the way to the wall. And I had a pot of coffee and a pack of cigarettes. So even though I've had the incredible experience that I've had with this so far, when things got really intense and wonky, I reverted right back to there. And I'm like, oh no, we're not be derailing on this puppy. Okay, so I didn't make it 10 minutes. Smash that like button if this was helpful. Share it to somebody else if you know somebody struggling. If you're one of my regular followers, I love you. Leave me a comment below. I love hearing from you. I love dialoguing with people. If you're on Facebook, if you, oh, that's the other thing. 
I don't always know because you guys don't sign in by your same names on Facebook. I don't always know who I'm talking to. We love you. Stay legendary.